Let me show you guys how you build one of these. You're probably curious. That's probably why you're here. So give me a second. So as you can see, that is, well first off, let's, let's look at what this power meter is telling us. So, we're getting 11.57 volts, and most would be like, how in the world <clears throat> are you getting 11 0.57 volts if you are plugged in to the wall so if you follow this is a transformer so we've got our two connections the ground we're not worried about just cut back to here so if we follow this this is another PCP board I have right here with some just random things that I'm running uh, off these saltwater batteries which I'll do a different video and show you how to make them you guys can see the salt build up on those things uh, but those were the LEDs that you seen these ones and then this one right here it's still going just not as quite as powerful as this one but it's powering four right now and it'll power the motors and the little buzzer and siren um, the goal is well I'm getting sidetracked we'll, we'll I'll do a different video on that um, so as you can see we follow the cord follow the cord follow the cord all the way down and that's it right there, plugged in a wall. This goes to my battery charger, which is right here. This is a 12 volt to my motorcycle. So that's there, so that you guys know. So is the best way to explain this to you guys, to make it the easiest way to build your own homemade, very cheaply, very easy um, AC to DC power converter. Um, it's pretty much the way that you're looking at. I have a motor here which I'll show you works. I'll put some tape here so you guys can see it spinning. Alright, so what you're looking at is you see guys, it's plugged into the wall. So you have so these are your two wires. So this is AC, so you don't have a positive and a negative. So you just what you do is I took a old computer cord or a cord that you don't need uh, to an electronic, you know, that plugs into your normal wall outlet and you cut it. And then from there, you wire it to the back of the transformer. You can get a transformer like this any place for about seven to eight dollars. Um, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. This one I got from Radio Shack. And again, you got 120 um, volts AC coming in. And you have two options coming out. You have two yellow wires and you have a black wire. If you hook up the two yellow wires, you have 25.5 volts of AC coming out. It, the two, if you hook up a black and a yellow wire, you have 12 volts, excuse me, about 12.5 volts of AC coming out. So, with just a simple transformer like this, it's not converting the AC to DC. So, if you were trying to plug a 12 volt direct current light bulb like this, incandescent light, you would blow this thing up um, if you tried to connect even a little motor like this or something else you you'd fry it out so what so for example I just want to just so you guys can understand so we have so we cut a cord we connected our two back which is the back of the transformer so we have 120 120 volts AC coming in we have two options coming out. What I have option is the 12.5 uh, volts AC. So what I did was is I ran it into a bridged rectifier, which is that right there. And so, as you can see, I soldered. If you look at the back, we have a solder right there. So we have the two wires coming from the transformer from the front into the middle. Well, it says AC. And then you have DC that comes on the outside. So you have a positive and a negative. So the way that this works is regardless of your voltage, it does not change. It only changes it from AC to DC. So with the black, with using the yellow and the black one, it's still going to come out 
with 12 volts but it's going to be from instead of 12 volts AC it's going to be 12 volts DC if you do the same over here and just use the two yellow wires alright then you're going to have 25 volts DC and so that's how that works also with the other wire you're going to want to electrical tape it and just put it somewhere because you don't want these wires especially when this is turned on touching each other you can short circuit your transformer and so we have it so as you can see coming out so then we've got these running so right here and to be honest guys it's really that easy um the way that this light works is i just bought a simple light 12 volt light and i ran it underneath here wired in electrical tape ran it from here and i ran it to the Sorry, I got something about to fall over here. To the bridge rectifier um, at the top, and I soldered that also. Let me see if you guys can see. So I soldered that one. So as soon as you plug it in, this 12 volt light cuts on automatically. And I did that so that, um, well, it looks cool, number one, number two, so people, other people would know uh, that this thing is turned on. And that's energized and, to, and you know just to just to be cautious. So it's really cool. So if you unplug it, it cuts off. If you plug it, in, it cuts back on. Um, from there we have it to here. So I just want to show you guys that it that, that it does work. So we'll disconnect that, and we'll hook up to our motor. So as you can see, guys, it's really that easy. You you just find your because most of the time you'll buy the transformer. It's not going to have a wire attached to it. So like I said, just find an old PC wire or an old electrical wire. You know that's 120 volts AC. Just cut it off. You know, connect it here, solder it. Um, if you don't solder, if you're not able to solder it, then you need to you know twist them together the best you can, and then electrical tape each one, and then electrical tape it completely around, so that they don't touch each other. And also so that you don't touch it either. Because um, 120 AC is not going to kill you, but it's definitely not going to feel good. Um, so, so as you said, guys, it goes into here, and then you have it coming out here. If you don't put a, one of these bridge rectifiers in, you're still going to have AC on this side. It's just going to be stepped down a lot lower. So that's how that works. So we'll hook. As you can see, we'll hook. One to there, and we'll grab my negative from over here. And as you can see, let me back up. And then, as you can see, even though I have this 12 volt light hooked to this bridge rectifier, and I'm st and I'm still giving this motor right at about uh, 11. 11 12 volts and it's still allowing the light to keep on because I have this transformer which is giving constant juice this but as you can see it does cause it to flicker and we'll stay on. So, so that's how you do it guys so if you want to build a AC to DC you know step down you know power supply I mean you could you could you could do this as a power supply and charge a battery like that if you wanted to instead of having to go out and spend 50 bucks like I did for this one you can make this at your house because as you can see you have the same voltage coming off as I do charging on this thing right here so this is I mean this is a really good way to you know you can use this for multiple purposes plus for little hobby and stuff like I do so I wanted to share that. I, I got so many other things that I do, and, and, and I'll start doing videos and stuff on that right there, and I'll start sharing it. I'm going to be putting this together, too. This is a uh, running micro bug. This is pretty cool. I'm going to be um, putting this together, so I'll still do a video on that. I got so many other stuff that I got to go, going on, and I'm going to end up doing. So, all right, guys. So, as you can see, that's how you do it. So, all together, you're looking... Um, if you don't want that and you don't want this, I mean, you're pretty much looking at about 10 bucks. I mean, to be honest, at the most, um, if you don't have, you know, alligator clips or you got to go do, but the best, pretty much that's it. You know, that, that's that easy. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys and, uh, so that you'll see, um, that I'll tell you what real quick, just to show you guys that, that, that there's AC coming out of here. 
um, will disconnect from our motor and we're going to take our negative look over here Wait, hold on real quick guys and disconnect from here hook to here hook to here alright so we've hooked to the middle of the bridge rectifier so that's AC so we'll hook these really fast to I'm trying not to hit touch any of these I'm trying to I'm not trying to make the video too long either so we'll hook to that hook to that and as you can see it's giving us a negative rating excuse me negative reading even though we are hooked to it because we're on DC so we need to go to range we need to go to select and go to AC and it's 